Okay, uh, my name is Chan from Cisco Academy. So this is uh, our website. Okay, so let's continue with switching left five. Okay, left five is a relative VLAN. Okay, suppose in this scenario, in this scenario, these two ports will be in the trunk port. Alright, these two ports will be in the trunk port. So let's say this packet. This frame sent over to here, there will be a tag, a VLAN tag here. But in between this port, this trunk port, there is a hub here. So this VLAN tag, alright, with a tag here, this one, this PC cannot understand. Cannot understand because of the tag here. So what happened here? You should configure this VLAN pen to be a native VLAN. So what happens is that if there's a VLAN pen sent out to the trunk port, so VLAN pen will be sent untapped. Whenever there's a VLAN pen to be sent out at this trunk port, it will be sent untapped. So once it's sent untapped, this PC will be able to be understood. So the, the native VLAN is that the VLAN that is sent and received in the trunk hot, okay? So this is the VLAN that sent and received it. <coughs> Alright? So in this case, this PC will be able to understand because this is no longer tagged, okay? So another thing about this is that these two parts, the native VLAN must be in the same native VLAN. Switch A and switch B must be in the same native VLAN on the trunk port, on the connecting trunk port. If not, if it's not the same, it depends on the iOS version. Okay? If the iOS allow it, then what will happen? There will be VLAN hopping. If iOS don't allow it, uh, then either the port is shut down or uh, you have to test one by one. Or restricted. Okay, so this is left over five. Okay, uh, left number six. Number six is uh, IP address on the switch. <coughs> okay, you have a switch here, and this switch you can configure IP address. <coughs> Why you need to configure IP address? so that you can remote monitor or configure the switch 
and you can also can ping the switch can ping the switch so that you know that the switch is up or down okay that's the reason why okay so to configure it first you create a vlan let's say vlan ten. Then you put interface VLAN 10, IP address, whatever, let's say 1111255, then no shut. Or you can also use VLAN 1, which is the default VLAN. Okay? Uh, so this is a left switch. Left number six, okay? Okay? Okay, left number seven. Left number seven is pretty straightforward. We're going to skip it. Uh, left number eight also is uh, we're going to skip. Left number nine, okay. Explain about left number nine first. Left number nine is like that. Okay, we're going to explain first. Huh? Let's say this A, B, C. Uh, okay. Suppose this is in VLAN 10, okay? This PC is in VLAN 10. VLAN 10, all right. So whenever there's a broadcast for VLAN 10, so switch air send up through this part or not? Yes or no? It depends whether there's VLAN 10 here or not, isn't it? If there's no VLAN 10 here, then this one will be dropped. Correct? If there's a VLAN 10 here, it will be sent. If there's a VLAN 10 on this side of the network. Okay? Alright? If there's a VLAN 10 here, then there will be sent. But the question is, how does switch A know that VLAN 10 is in other switches as well? How does it know? How does it know? There's two ways you can know it. The first way, you configure all VLAN on all switches. Okay, all the VLAN required, you configure it on all the switches. Okay, that's the first way you can do it. Okay, so which means it's a static assignment. Whatever VLAN you have, you configure it on all the switches. The second way you do it, is use uh, VTP. Alright? Which means that if you have a VLAN 10 here and there's a VLAN 10 here, all these switch will inform each other and will let switch B know. So then uh, the traffic will can go forward. The broadcast of VLAN 10 will be available over here and over here so that uh, switch B, VLAN 10 can receive the broadcast okay? alright? so this uh, is enabled using a VTP so how do you configure the VTP? first, uh, in VTP you have two modes one is the server another one is the client okay? so on the enterprise network 
in the enterprise level. You don't want what you don't want. Uh, Tom, Dick, and Harry. Okay, Tom, Dick, and Harry to create any VLAN they want. Okay, you don't want anybody Tom, Dick, and Harry come into the network and create any VLAN they want. So you have a VTP server where you can create VLAN. Okay. Whatever VLAN you can create. VTP client you can only assign a port to the created VLAN. Okay? Alright? Let's say you want to assign to VLAN 10. You only be successful if VLAN 10 is created at the server. Okay? Alright? If it's not created, then you cannot assign the port to a particular VLAN. So this is a VTP server. Another configuration that you must understand is that uh, by this server, this is default. Lah, okay? So the configuration part will be like this. Uh, VTP domain. Make sure that all the switches are in the same domain. So you put VTP domain Cisco. Then uh, VTP mode server. Okay. Or you can also put client. But bear in mind if you put client, which means that the switch cannot receive, cannot create any VLAN. Okay. Client can't create VLAN. Eh? Okay, that's the main restriction. Okay, for explicit specific details how this VTP work, you can look at Cisco documentation. Okay? Uh, the last part of the lab will be lab pad. Two 
Okay, then you create, then you select interface at A01. Switch port. Okay. Okay, these two ports, you're going to do this. Then, on this interface, what you're going to do is that you're going to put no switch port. So when you put no switch port, this one will become a router port. Alright? So what after it becomes a router port, then you can become you can do an IP address. Oh, alright, sorry, I put the wrong IP address. Okay, then from here you can see that this part and this part they will do a routing. So the routing will go through the VLAN 10 interface, then it will be routed back to this part. This one will become a switch part. This one will become a router part. Okay, all right. Uh, that's all for the labs. Uh, you need to do all these labs so that you can do your assignment. Okay. We'll make a video on the assignment as well for the benefit of other lecture group. Okay? Alright? Okay. Any question? Email me. Uh, Cisco MMU at gmail.com. Okay?